do a bunch of hamstring work here. So we're going to do a slider variation. The first one is actually going to be just holding the position. This is called a hamstring plank. And again, we're going to try and come out of hip extension. Good. And now you're going to push your heels into the ground and try and bring your butt off the ground without going into that lower back extension. So really squeezing the butt. And we're going to use the hamstrings isometrically here to try and keep pulling your butt down, keep pulling your pelvis underneath. Try not to arch into the back too much. So you're going to keep those abs working really, really hard as well. We also want to look for the toes here. Don't let your toes open up like that. We want to keep the adductors, which are part of your hamstrings working too. So they're going to squeeze in together. Once you're feeling good and strong with that, we're going to move to an eccentric version. So we're going to get those hips up nice and high and then slowly coming all the way down into that full plank position. Good. And then you're going to pull back up and do think about trying to internally rotate at the hip. Perfect. We're really trying to keep those toes together. Pushing, 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 pushing. Beautiful work. And you're working really, really hard to stay out of the lower back as you go down. And we're not going to worry about how we come up. We're going to go all the way down, take the pressure off, slide back. Once we have that and we're feeling confident with that, we're going to try and work on the concentric version, which is where we actually pull all the way back up. Now, initially, you're going to try and pull through your lower back. So we are going to use tons and tons of core here, really keeping those ribs in as much as we can. And as we pull up, you're thinking, can I pull my heels to my butt? Okay. Generally, if you don't cramp in this, you're doing it wrong. 